guys, this is Adrian Seringao, a junior physicist. So last week, some of my followers requested me to create a video blog on how optical instruments form images. So now guys, this is it. I'm going to grant your request. But before that, I'm just going to pick three optical instruments that are commonly found at home. So guys, these are the optical instruments I found at home. First, the eyeglass. Next, the flashlight. The flashlight, the mirror. What is lens? A lens is simply a glass or a transparent plastic that uses refraction to bend light and form images. So our first optical instrument is eyeglass. Eyeglass is used for people with vision problems. Eyeglass work in the same manner whether they are for nearsightedness or for farsightedness. The eyeglass lens is curved so that it bends the light rays that hit your eyes so you can see images clearly. Eyeglass lens are curved pieces of glass. The curvature of the lens bends the light rays as they approach your eye. This helps the rays focus on your retina, instead of behind or in front of it. There are two main types of lenses used in eyeglasses. It depends on the vision of the person. Nearsighted people need eyeglasses with concave lenses. When you look at an object through a concave lens, the object will appear bigger. Farsighted people need a convex lenses. When you look at an object through a convex lens, the object will appear smaller. The next optical instrument we have is the mirror. Mirror, whether plane, concave, or convex, produce images. A reflection in a plane mirror is a familiar example of a virtual image. The image is called virtual because the light does not really come from the position of the image. A mirror can produce a real image provided that it is a concave mirror. A concave mirror or converging mirror has a reflecting surface that bulges inward away from the incident light. Concave mirrors reflect light inward to one focal point. They are used to focus light. Unlike convex mirrors, concave mirrors show different image types depending on the distance between the object and the mirror. A convex mirror or diverging mirror is a curved mirror in which the reflective surface bulges toward the light source. Convex mirrors reflect light outwards, therefore they are not used to focus light. Such mirrors always form a virtual image since the focal point and the center of curvature are both imaginary points inside a mirror that cannot be reached. As a result, images formed by these mirrors cannot be projected on a screen. Since the image is inside the mirror, the image is smaller than the object but gets larger as the object approaches the mirror. So the last optical instrument that we have is the flashlight. The lens of the flashlight is the clear plastic part you see on the front of the flashlight that protects the lamp. Since the lamp is made of glass and can easily be broken, when activated by electricity, the tungsten filament or LED in the lamp begins to glow, producing light that is visible. This light reflects off the reflector that is positioned around the lamp. The reflector redirects the light rays from the lamp, creating a steady beam of light which is the light you see emitting from the flashlight. A clear lens covers the lamp on your flashlight so that the glass on the lamp does not get broken. So guys, that's all. Thank you for watching.